Hi, I got a Yamaha V-Star Classic 650 and uh, I was having problems turning the bike over. You hear the clicking of the relay um, and you try to ignite it and you, you hear the starter turning over, turning over, turning over and uh, it doesn't start, it doesn't start. And I looked at the spark plugs and there's no spark coming. Uh, so you check the fuses, you take this panel off, uh, you see the fuse box right here. Um, you can open it up and check the fuses to make sure the um, the ignition, uh, oh, just, you know, check the fuses, see if they're blown. If they're not blown, uh, the next step would be, well, besides making sure your battery is fully charged, like 13 plus volts or whatever, um, you can uh, take the gas tank off and check for the, uh, the coil packs. There's one for uh, this cylinder, and then the other one is, um, it's, uh, how can we, it's here, this is a better angle. Uh, it's under, it's, it's kind of hard to see, sorry about that. But it's that black thing right there. Um, and it's just above this, you have to go back there and it's kind of hard to see, get there. But anyways, you take, you take uh, these uh, positive and negative terminals off, test the resistance between the two. If they're between, um, oh, what was it? I think it's, yeah, I think if they're between 3.8 and 4.6 ohms uh, across these terminals, then it's good. Um, otherwise, it needs to be replaced. And then if you take off one of these terminals, or just across one terminal, uh, this is where, by the way, if you don't know, um, this is where that that wire that comes out that wire that comes out of here this is what leads to your spark plug um i i this is nothing don't notice <laughs> i i put a new spark my other spark plug in to test it um but anyways yeah so it would it would go in there um but anyways then you can test to see if the spark is happening and if the spark's not happening i just used another spark plug that i have and test it on the ground of the cylinder but uh, if it's not working um, then apparently what's needing to be test is the uh, the pulser or the pickup coil um, you'll you'll notice these other extra wires here and uh, these three um, there's a three uh, I think I might mess up the video so there's a, a three pronged um, uh, white kit connectors and then there's the two two pronged ones um, that go to the uh, the uh, pickup coil and it's supposed to read across these two it's supposed to read between 182 to 222 ohms and if it reads something large like mine read 1.8 1 1.1 1 .1 mega ohms that's just it just means it's an, there's an open in the circuit down there and so that, that was my problem. Uh, so that goes all the way down here to the crankcase. You can see, um, let me try to get it right on there. You can see in there those white cables, you see them? Right, right in there. It's kind of hard for me to get the light shining in there good. Uh, Anyways, I think it picked up in the video, but uh, that's what you need to get to and the uh, It's like a black uh, piece in there um, It needs to uh, I likely it failed this uh, it's a time it's for the timing of the spark plugs um, And if that's not working, then it won't create a spark. So uh, but Yeah, that's the gist um, so yeah, I will replace it and uh, it, once I get it working, I'll, you know, make an additional part of the video.